Many dog owner will take their dogs to the beach or water park to swim in the summer. And many dog owners will quickly let the dogs drink water after walking the dog. But did you know that this behavior may cause the dog to die? Maybe most people don't associate water with poisoning, but recently there was a case in which a dog drank water and be poisoned, then eventually led to death. <laughs> A couple took their dog on a short trip, since the destination was a bit hot, so when they returned home, the dog was hot, too. The couple has an inflatable swimming pool in the backyard for cooling the dog. And the dog jumped into the pool. The dog jumping up and down, biting on the water pipe, and having fun. However, in less than half an hour, the dog suddenly calmed down, his eyes became dull, and he could not stand firmly, and began to spit water out. The owner did not pay much attention to it, thinking it was too hilarious for playing, but the dog's situation was getting worse and worse. Then they drove the dog to the hospital quickly. After examination, the doctor told the owner that the dog was water poisoning, which is caused by sweating and drinking too much. Although the veterinarians tried their best to rescue the dog, the dog had fallen into a coma due to brain damage and was not rescued in the end. The owner said that he had never heard of water poisoning before. Many dog owners have never heard of this term. 2. The so-called water poisoning is a kind of hyponatremia, also known as excessive hyponatremia, which refers to when the body ingests or enters too much water, causing too much water to be retained in the dog's body. The osmotic pressure of blood drops and the circulating blood volume increases water poisoning is relatively rare, but it is extremely likely to be life-threatening. Any dog may have hyponatremia, especially small dogs. Compared with large dogs, small dogs are more likely to drink too much water. When excessive water enters the dog's body, the electrolyte in the body is instantly imbalanced, and the sodium content in the extracellular fluid that maintains blood pressure, nerve, and muscle function is also consumed. So the cells start to fill the body with water in an attempt to achieve balance, but at the same time, hyponatremia also occurs, causing the body's mechanism to be overwhelmed. Symptoms include impaired body coordination, lethargy, nausea, abdominal distension, vomiting, loose eyes, excessive salivation, etc. In more serious cases, even breathing difficulties, collapse, confusion, convulsions, coma, etc eventually lead to death some external factors can also cause water poisoning such as lakes ponds swimming pools etc even lawn sprinklers or garden hoses are potentially dangerous dogs will use it as a toy ingesting a lot of water in the process of chasing and praying for example many dog owners throw their toys into the water when the dog is swimming or let the dog die frequently this kind of game itself is not dangerous. It is mainly the way the dog plays in the water. If you swim with a toy while biting your mouth, there is a danger of drinking a lot of water. If your dog likes to play in the water, then please make sure that its activities and behaviors are under your supervision. Always pay attention to the dog's behavior and take a short break every once in a while. Although water poisoning can be treated with the effects of electrolytes, diuretics and drugs and it can generally be cured once water poisoning occurs it deteriorates rapidly and it is easy to miss the golden time for treatment therefore when your dog has the above symptoms please seek medical attention immediately the veterinarian also warned dog owners that seawater is more lethal than fresh water excessive salt and water intake while playing at the beach may also lead to hyponatremia or salt poisoning the initial symptoms of hyponatremia include vomiting and diarrhea, and the condition also develops rapidly. It is very likely to immediately cause neurological symptoms, such as seizures, and even severe cerebral edema damage, which is the same as hyponatremia. Both occurrences are extremely life-threatening. Although we all know that dogs should avoid high temperatures in summer, we have never understood the dangers of drinking too much water. If we knew in advance that drinking too much water would be poisoned, the tragedy of dog death might be avoided.